Let's have a look at the best bits of the first Ginetta GT Academy race of the weekend. Dreadful getaway by Luke Shaw, who tumbled down the order, and he then had to fight his way back into contention and fight. It most definitely was. Ravi Ramyid led into Redgate, and that was a lead he was never to lose as Tom Shelley went around the outside of Ed Akers. Nick White was the man doing the chasing, but it wasn't long before he fell away. Matt Shaw in third place had a couple of grassy moments, and that in turn cost him a little bit of time. This was the view from Kenzie Walker. He would end up in eighth place. Busy challenging, seeing cars getting all sideways ahead. They opened the door for him. The cars came over the timing line. The first of the spinners uh, was Emma Tomlinson, and uh, then we had also Stephen Frassel having a spin. Emma Tomlinson to the inside line down into the Melbourne Happy, looking for a way past Tom Balf, who would have been crossed up. And then it all started to get a bit leery into Goddard. Luke Shaw to the inside, contact with Emma Tomlinson made as the cars clattered together. Both of them had a half spin. The Academy cars will be uh, back on track tomorrow. And uh, now, Ravi Ramid heading into tomorrow's races, looking as though a championship might be going his way. He started the weekend in perfect fashion with pole, a race win as well, and a race win by 2.2 seconds. Ravi Ramid takes honours in race one of the weekend in the Ginetta GT Academy. Welcome back to Zonington Park for race two of the Janetta GT Academy. Things are hotting up in this championship as Ravi Ramyud starts on pole again and it is going down to the wire. So let's look at the best bits of race two of the weekend in Janetta GT Academy. Bad start by Luke Shaw, which compromised his run away from the line. Uh, Ravi Ramyud it was though that hit the front and he was in charge as the cars went down towards Redgate with championship rival Nick White on his tail as they turned their way around Redgate. John Carney made a decent enough getaway and was on the inside of Matt Shaw, but as the race wore on, so Carney will drop back, first of all, uh, with uh, this move on the inside, allowing Ed Akers past him. Tom Shelley in touch to begin with, but then uh, with liquid pouring out of the front of the car, we lost him from the race. Mackenzie Walker was being feisty as he tried to work his way through traffic. Luke Shaw likewise as he made a move on the inside of Carney to gain a place of coffees. For the race lead though, Ravi Ramid under attack from Nick White. And when Ramid made a little mistake at the Melbourne hairpin, White went through. They rubbed, Ramid got onto the grass, and Nick White looked as though he was clear. But a corner later, it all went wrong because powering his way onto the pit straight across the back of the car, and around he went. He fell to fourth, and that's where he stayed. Tires are squealing as he got going again, but Ravi Ramyi had his lead back, and that's where he was going to stay. Charlotte Lowe went off into the gravel trap. That brought out the safety car. Uh, it was a rather messy safety car period, but Ravi Ramyi controlled it, and he led on the restart all the way to the chequered flag and on his way to a 13th victory of the season. It means the championship remains alive going into the last round. It's still between Ravi Ramyi and Nick White, and the championship decider will be up later on in the afternoon here at Donington Park. race of the 2023 Janetta GT Academy and it's going down to the wire. Ravi Ramyud starts on pole but he needs to win and set the fastest lap in order to take the championship. So let's see if he can do it. So, so much of that race decided on the start. Bad getaway by Ramyud, worse getaway by Akers, contact for those behind and then down at the first corner Ravi Ramyud braked as late as he dared. This was how Walker saw the start, being hit left, right and centre as he tried to wriggle his way through the gap. But Ravi Ramyid, trying to make amends, break late, dived into Redgate corner, but just went in too quickly, pure and simple, and he ran out wide. He got all sideways as he came out of the gravel. He got back on track and then started a great recovery. But equally, the damage was done, and Nick White was away and gone on his way to winning the championship. Ramyid then started the fight back. He picked off Robbie Grimwood, going down through the old hairpin. And then he had a go at Mackenzie Walker as they battled into the Melbourne hairpin. Through on the inside went Ramyid. Another place gained as he was getting closer and closer to the leading gaggle, but he had to win the race and take the fastest lap. And that was looking unlikely as Tom Balf had a spin at Goddard's and was just clipped by Emma Tomlinson's car. Ramyid did take the fastest lap of the race, but he couldn't get close enough to this man. 
Nick White came through to win for the 12th time this year and also to win the 2023 Ginetta GT Academy race winner and champion, Nick White.